Welcome back to day number six of 12 Brewskies of Christmas 2022. This episode featuring one from the Spolzel Brewing Company. This here is their Shiner Holiday Cheer. It's an L brewed with pecans or pecans and peaches. So pecans and peaches. 5.4% alcohol by volume. And uh, very Christmassy, holiday, seasonal uh, label on the bottle there. The back of it says, cheer for all. And uh, that's pretty much it. We do have the Shiner Holiday Cheer bottle cap on there. And right there, the up on the neck, the label on the neck, seasonal release there. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot going on there. And it has been a long time since I have had a Shiner. Uh, I actually did have this one, but it was quite a while, quite a while, five, six years back. It's been a long time since I've had this here. And um, over the last five years or so in the craft beer, uh, my, my ventures into the craft beer anyway, my palate has changed quite a bit. So whatever I thought of it back then may not hold true today. A little bit more refined than it was back then. Now, lots of people out there have heard of Shiner. I don't know, you like them, you don't like them. I don't know, drop a comment down there, let me know what you think about it. Now that says Shiner, and a guy once said to me, there's nothing finer than a Shiner. So a couple things true with that statement. Uh, one, the words rhyme, right? He, it's a little bit of a rhyme there. And uh, two, the guy had no idea what he was talking about because to me, Shiner is uh, Shiner beer, Spolzel, average beer, right? There's much more things finer than a Shiner. Um, did get a little bit on the neck there. I'm gonna just wipe the bottle down because I don't want the old Grinch smelling like beer. Once I'm done here, it's going to go back under the Christmas tree in there. So we got, I don't know, I'll get a little bit more in there. About, I was hoping to produce some. Very, uh, very foamy. About a finger-ish of just an off-white uh, head up on top of that. Uh, just that uh, ambery caramel tea color, like a caramel uh, color to this here might be coming across a bit darker on camera than it really is but it's very much caramel uh, I can kind of see my the silhouette of my finger shadow of my finger through the glass holding it up to the light there so not a bad looking beer at all I get caramel in there I do get some peach in here actually too. There's a nice uh, like a Georgia peach coming through. Actually smells pretty good. Now there's pecan or pecan, 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 however you want to say it in here, um, according to the bottle, but I don't get it. There's kind of this like a faint pecan aroma, but nothing that's, uh, you know, real real uh prominent like the peach is very very defined almost a sweet peachiness to it other than that um says uh peach and pecan faint pecan in the nose lots of peach in the nose Let's see what the taste has to offer okay Body-wise, you know, very light. Uh, it's got a, it's got a kind of a crispness to it, really. Um, a nice wetness to it. Very easy to drink. So, 
there's a good amount of peach. Um, and the peach that I pick up is, especially on the aftertaste I'm talking, kind of feel that like took a big bite of a peach, that type of, uh, you know, taste in the mouth. So I just don't get a ton of pecan in it, pecan, wherever you're, where your uh, neck of the woods is. Um, don't get a lot of that in the actual taste, but there's like a, like a very raw, raw peachiness to this. Almost like, um, you bite into the fuzzy peach, you get down there to the middle, to the pit area, you get that very, very raw peach flavor juicy peachness. That's what I get on this thing. When I had it last time, and it was a long time ago, I really don't, nothing jumps out to make me uh, remember anything. There's nothing memorable about it that I can, you know, I remember, right? So there's nothing memorable. Um, but this has got a very nice, if you like peaches, and I'm not talking just that generic mild peach flavor, but like a real real peach like you bit into it, just a raw the raw peachness it's actually here i'm actually pretty impressed with uh the peach part of it if the bottle didn't say pecan on here pecan um i really wouldn't identify that as uh you know something that this is brewed with i think it gets lost uh, in the peachiness But overall, this is actually uh, pretty pretty solid, really. Uh, scoring this, dropping a, cri a quick score. Um, go with 3.95 on this. This is actually for a holiday beer. You know, you don't have your... I don't pick up any, like, winter spices in here. Your nutmeg, your ginger, your allspice, your cinnamon. Those types of things that are sometimes dumped in uh, some of the winter seasonal... Christmas style of beers. Um, so this kind of goes a different direction and I actually quite like it really. Uh, I'm not a huge peach person, uh, but for some reason, after work here, recording this on a Wednesday uh, evening, it tastes very good. Yeah, I could definitely drink this again. Um, 3.95 out of 5. If you had this before, let me know what you think about it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell down there. Be sure you check out some of the other beers that I'm reviewing this year for the 12 Brewskies of Christmas. And uh, like always, thanks for watching.